Today's case involves a state's attorney seeking to commit someone they feel is a danger to society. Here, they're asking the judge to have the respondent committed because they believe he's what's called a hebophile. Now, the respondent files a motion limiting to bar the admission of testimony related to hebophilia. They argue that unlike pedophilia, hebophilia has not been accepted by a consensus of physicians as a legitimate mental disorder. A fry hearing is conducted. A few experts testify that hemophilia is a real disorder, so the judge allows it in. The respondent gets committed, he appeals, and the appellate court affirms. Now, expert testimony falls under Rule 702, which comes from this century-old Supreme Court case. Now, note, federal matters in Illinois still use Daubert, but state matters use the old-school Fry model, and the purpose of a Fry hearing is actually to exclude, not include, new scientific theories that may be, well, I guess junk science, and the key issue is whether the court is convinced the theory has become generally accepted, and that your run-of-the-mill professional relies on that, or at least recognizes that, theory. Now here the respondent argues that the DSM-5 manual doesn't include hebophilia, but as the court points out that although the manual is a mark of acceptance, it's not really an absolute requirement in commitment cases, so the judgment is affirmed. Now it should be noted that Fry hearings have a couple exceptions. One of them is that the hearing is only needed when you're dealing with new or novel scientific theories. The second one is that you don't need it if the experts testifying based on their own personal experience or training. Anyways, that's all I have. Thanks for watching.